us here on this planet, we share a common purpose. And that purpose is to awaken. Now, even though we all share a common purpose, it doesn't mean that we're all going to follow a similar path. Every single one of us is unique. Every single one of us is different. Um, we've all had a number of different past lives. We've all had a number of different experiences in this lifetime that we're living now. And all of these experiences have led us to where we are right now on our spiritual journeys as human beings in our human bodies right now. So the path to awakening for everybody is different. And some people don't really awaken. Some people, they stay locked up uh, inside the prison of their mind, inside this external illusory reality that we believe to be real, which is for most people that have, have, have started their journey, they realize that it's not real. Reality is or can be discovered by journeying inwards, you know, inside of your mind, deep within the labyrinth of consciousness, uh, as you, you go deeper and deeper uh, inside of yourself. Uh, the, 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 the deeper you go, the further you go, the more you realize that you're infinite. Uh, it's only when you look externally, you know, through your five senses, you believe or understand this reality that we live in as being everything. In the house that we live in, the car that we drive, the partner, the husband, the wife, the children, the job, the business, all of this stuff. Um, but all of this is just, it's, it's a conceptual reality, okay? Uh, it's, a, it's a reality of duality. And for us to awaken properly and totally and fully, we need to experience enlightenment. And enlightenment is the transcendence of duality, of this external world, where there's hot and cold, up and down, love and hate, all of this stuff. When you experience enlightenment, there's no opposite or polar opposite to enlightenment. There's just enlightenment. And as you're on your journey and you're awakening and you're becoming more aware, you kind of drift in and out of these two worlds. You're in this world of duality and you experience glimpses of enlightenment, of, of, of awareness, of presence, of, of being in the here and now and realizing the love and the purity and the compassion that's in every single moment that we live. And then your mind kicks you back into that world of duality again. And this is a normal process for everybody. I mean, I've been on my kind of spiritual journey, my spiritual awakening started 12 years ago. And it's still happening right now. This isn't something that just happens overnight. This is, this is, a, this is a journey. And it's one of the, the hardest journeys that I think anyone can walk. But on the same hand, it's one of the most rewarding journeys that anybody can embark on. And the deeper you go, the further you go, the more love you feel, the more amazing this journey gets. But as you go deeper and deeper on the flip side of the coin, you come up with a, a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles to overcome. Um, that world of duality tries to suck you back in for a little while. And it's up to you to observe what is happening in your life. You know, don't live in your life. Observe yourself being in life. And when you observe yourself being in life, you can observe your reactions to life. And when you observe your reactions to life, you can start to change those reactions and control your behavior a bit more. And then you can change the way you observe the world that you're living in. And you can be in it differently. You can choose to see everything that happens as a challenge and a chance to grow as a human being, and a chance to grow spiritually, um, as, as energy, as source, as love. And that's when things start to get really, really magical. 
It doesn't matter how far you go, you're always going to be faced with these challenges. It's normal. And there's people from, from this external or illusory reality outside of yourself. They think they're separate from you. And a lot of us believe we're separate from everything else. But we're not. It's just one unified energy field. It's only our rational thinking brain, the way we've been conditioned growing up, uh, that makes us believe or think that we're different and separate from everything else, but we're not. We're just one. It's oneness. And when you start to experience these glimpses of enlightenment, of awareness, you start to realise that everything is just energy, everything is source, everything is love, everything is geometry, and it's just beautiful. It's just completely, fully, utterly beautiful. Uh, and it gives you, gives you freedom. When you realise that you're at one with everything else, you stop comparing yourself, you stop judging, you stop seeing that there's a gap between you and another person. This person's got more than me or that person's got less than me. You don't rank yourself against anybody else. You just see everybody as human beings living on this beautiful big blue planet, playing this game of life, and everybody's just trying to work it out for themselves. Everybody's just trying to fit in. Everybody's just trying to do what they can to get by. And, you know, the further you journey inwards, you stop trying to fit in. You stop trying to be a part of this reality and you just realise that you are this reality. You are this world. You are this universe. The universe is contained within every atom, every cell in your entire being. All the worlds, universes and galaxies out there are contained within inside of you. And you are me and I am you and we're everything else. And it's just one gigantic game of life being played out with all these players that think they're separate, but really they're just one. So why don't we just get on with each other? Why don't we just love each other? Spread the love, spread the compassion, and make this world a much more harmonious place. Meditation's the key. Stilling your mind. Finding that place of inner peace. When you start to journey inwards and find that sense of inner peace, you stop believing. And you start knowing. And when you start knowing, you start understanding this universe in a completely different way. You understand this universe on an intuitive level, not a rational, analytical level. Because it's only through trying to interpret this world rationally and analytically that we suffer frustration, pain, misery, and, and, and a number of negative emotions that fill us full of pain. But when we start to know ourselves, and start to know this world, and to know everything, and remember what most of us have forgotten, Knowing transcends all belief systems. And at the end of the day, belief systems are based on thought. And if you drill down to the very root cause of thought, thought is based on fear. Thought is the problem maker. And we need to start to feel our way through life. Feeling is mission critical. We need to get in touch with the with the right female part of our brains. Open the link between the right and the left brain, the corpus callosum. Meditate. Bring energy down through your crown chakra and into the top of your, into the top of your head. And open that corpus callosum. See the energy, the information flowing backwards and forwards. It's truly breathtaking, truly amazing. I love you with my heart and soul. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel, okay? Share these messages with your friends, family, loved ones. Together we can make this world a better place. You can only change you. You can't influence anybody else. But once we all start to make those changes and realise that we're one with everything, with the universe, that global awakening happens. It's happening already. 
Life is purely beautiful. I'll see you again real soon.